How's it going, folks? Section 6 of the DNC. Revelation given to Joseph Smith the Prophet and Oliver Cowdery at Harmony, Pennsylvania, April 1829. Oliver Cowdery began his labors as scribe in the translation of the Book of Mormon, April 7, 1829. He had already received a divine manifestation attesting the truth of Joseph's testimony respecting the plates on which was engraved the Book of Mormon record. Joseph inquired of the Lord through the Ermin and Thummim and received this response, see History of the Church, Volume 1, page 32 through 35, and we'll get there, one page at a time. Oliver's willingness to serve is commended, and both to him and to Joseph, blessings of great import are promised. And let's go ahead and uh, yeah. Scotch Ale Old Chub It's like Sputnik And what does it say in the back? A virtual Planetoid Take the chub seriously. And definitely buy it if you get a chance. If you like something a little stout. It's a Scotch Ale. And uh, redolent of a very fine Scotch at that. One, a great and marvelous work is about to come forth unto the children of men. Two, behold, I am God. Ooh, nice. Give heed unto my word, which is quick and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, to the dividing asunder of both joints and marrow. Therefore, give heed unto my words. Three, behold, the field is white already. Behold, the field is white. Already to harvest. Therefore, whoso desirous to reap, let him thrust in his sickle with his might and reap while the day lasts that he may treasure up for his soul everlasting salvation in the kingdom of God. It's kind of a farm boy parable. Yeah, not bad though. All right. Uh, Four, yea, whosoever 
will thrust in his sickle and reap. The same is called of God. Five. Therefore, if you will ask of me, you shall receive. If you will, will knock, it shall be opened unto you. Six. Now, as you have asked, behold, I say unto you, keep my commandments and seek to bring forth and establish the cause of Zion. Seven. Seek not for riches, but for wisdom. And behold, the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto you. And then shall you be made rich. Behold, he that hath eternal life is rich. And it's even better if you're rich in this life as well. Eight. Verily, verily. Oh. I say unto you, even as you desire of me, so shall it be unto you. And if you desire, you shall be the means of doing much good in this generation. Nine. Say nothing but repentance unto this generation. Keep my commandments and assist to bring forth my work according to my commandments, and you shall be blessed. 10. Behold, thou hast a gift, and blessed art thou because of thy gift. Remember it is sacred and Coming from above. Eleven. And if thou wilt inquire, thou shalt know mysteries which are great and marvelous. Therefore, thou shalt exercise thy gift that thou mayest find out mysteries that thou mayest bring many to the knowledge of the truth. Yea, convince them of the error of their ways. Twelve, make not thy gift known unto any, save it be those who are of thy faith. Trifle not with sacred things. Thirteen. If thou wilt do good, yea, and hold out faithful to the end, thou shalt be saved in the kingdom of God. Really, promise to stick with it forever. Which is the greatness of all the gifts of God. For there is no gift greater than the gift of salvation. Uh, yeah. Fourteen. Verily, verily. I say unto thee, Blessed art, art thou for what thou hast, hast done, for thou hast inquired of me. 
and behold, as often as thou hast inquired, thou hast received instruction of my spirit. If it had not been so, thou wouldst not have come to the place where thou art at this time. Fifteen. Behold, thou knowest that thou hast inquired of me, and I did enlighten thy mind, and now I will tell thee these things, that thou mayest know that thou hast been enlightened by the Spirit of Truth. Really? Cross your heart. And you're already dead. <laughs> Sixteen. Yea, I tell thee that thou mayest know that there is none else save God that knowest thy thoughts and the intents of thy heart. Seventeen. I tell thee these things as a witness unto thee, that the words or the work which thou hast been thou hast been written are true. Eighteen Therefore be diligent Stand by my servant Joseph faithfully in whatsoever difficult circumstances he may be <laughs> for the word's sake. Nineteen. Admonish him in his faults and also receive admonition of him. <laughs> More of the latter, I'm sure. Be patient, be sober, whoops, be temperate, have patient, patience, faith, hope, and charity, and all those other good things, I hope. Twenty, behold, thou art Oliver. <laughs> and I have spoken unto thee because of thy desires. At least some of them. Therefore, treasure up these words in thy heart. You know it's God because he's trying to talk like Shakespeare. <laughs> Be faithful and diligent in keeping the commandments of God. God, who's also talking. And I will encircle thee in the arms of my love. See? 21. Behold, I am Jesus Christ. I mean, not really. I'm just reading this. Uh, the Son of God. I am the same that came unto mine own. Uh, and mine own received me not. I am the light that shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Verily, verily. Hang on, that's verse 22, excuse me. To. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if you desire a further witness, cast your mind upon the night that you cried unto me in your heart. 
that you might know concerning the truth of these things. You cried. I saw it. <laughs> I don't have one of those ma that macho problems. Yeah. <laughs> 23. Did I not speak peace to your mind concerning the matter? Quiet that thinking process. Listen to your heart. Just like Jeremiah in the book of Proverbs tell you not to do. Uh, well, do it anyway. It feels good. You want it to be true. So just fuck it. It's true. Because you want it to be. And that's enough, right? <sighs> yes. Uh, peace to your mind concerning the matter. What greater witness can you have than from God? Which is that, like, exalted feeling you get. <laughs> Even when you're at a rock concert. It's like, ah! Same thing. It's a rush. I get it. 24. And now, behold... You have received a witness. For if I have told you things which no man knoweth, have you not received a witness? <laughs> or a load of BS. 25. And behold... I grant unto you a gift that, if you desire of me to translate, even as my servant Joseph. 26. Verily, verily. I say unto you that there are records which contain much of my gospel which have been kept back because of the wickedness of the people. I'm not letting them go. <sighs> Damn. There's more, to, more of this shit. And we're missing out because of the wickedness. 27. And now I command you that if you have good desires, a desire to lay up treasures for yourself in heaven, <clears throat> then shall you assist in bringing to light with your gift those parts of my scriptures which have been hidden because of iniquity. Pay up, Biot. 28. And now, behold, I give unto you and also unto my servant Joseph the keys of this gift, this magical power, this special access to the divine, which shall bring to light this ministry, and in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. 49. Verily, verily. <sighs> I say 
unto you. If they reject my words and this part of my gospel and ministry, blessed are ye, for they can de do no more unto you than unto me. 30. And even if they do unto you, even as they have done unto me, blessed are ye. I should put that to music. I guess I just did. Uh, for piano chocolate, jamendo.com. Link below. Blessed are ye, for you shall dwell with me in glory. Up there in the sky. Like that 60s song. <sighs> 31. But if they reject not my words, they shall be established by the testimony which shall be given. Blessed are they. And then shall ye have joy in the fruit of your labors. 32. Verily, verily. Ah, old chub. It's like Sputnik. Ah. <laughs> Oops, where is it? Oh, 32. Verily, verily, I say unto you, as I said unto my disciples, where two or three are gathered together in my name, as touching one thing, I don't want to know. <laughs> Behold, they will there will I be in the midst of them. Even so am I in the midst of you. 33. Fear not to do good. I don't. I do good and I don't fear about it. I like doing nice things. Without magical promises. My sons, you know, fear not to do good, my sons. For whoso, whatsoever ye sow, that shall ye also reap. See, that's where we differ. I just do good because I just wish the world was a little bit better than it is. I think it's fucked up the way things are. I like to do a little good now and then. I, that's just an expenditure that I don't mind doing. These people need it. They want to fucking, they want to know that there's a record kept. And look, this guy's been doing really good. That man. Yeah. Therefore, if ye so good, ye shall also reap good for your reward. So you have a motive to do good. I guess I do too, but mine is a little different. I just think, what a shame the world's so fucked up. And there's only so much I can do, but I do try. <sighs> 34. Therefore, fear not, little flock. Little oh, flock. Do good. Let earth and hell combine against you. For if ye are built upon my rock, they cannot prevail. 35. 
behold. I do not condemn you. Go your ways and sin no more. Perform with soberness the work which I have commanded you. 36. Look unto me in every thought. Every single thought? Like, damn, I wish it wasn't so constipated. Oh, hey, God, uh, I guess you need, need to hear that, huh? What's this every thought shit? Constantly think about Big Brother and how much you like him. And rewards, right? For sucking up. Licking toe jam. 35. I do not. Behold, I do not condemn you. Go your ways and sin no more. Perform with soberness the work which I have commanded you. 36. Look unto me in every thought. Doubt not. Doubt not. Fear not. Ignorance is bliss. Not quite. 37. Behold the wounds which pierced my side. Yeah, you let the whole goddamn community finger your spear wound, JC. That was really... Can I finger it too? Anytime. I understand it. Just not going to heal that wound, right? You can heal all these people, but it's like, oh, no, no. It continues to bleed even for 2,000 years, 3,000 if necessary. Uh, we're forever in the latter days until we just fucking finally make it happen. Somebody would. Uh, and also the prints of the nails in my hands and feet. See my owies? Be faithful. Keep my commandments. And ye shall inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. And that's it for six. And what can I say? I'll see you in seven. I'm not reading ahead. I might scan it real quick to see if I can see any repeated phrases, but otherwise, that's it for me tonight. <laughs> that's enough. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful the rest of the, uh, this year, and I'll see you next year, and have a wonderful next year, too, for whatever the fuck that's worth.